Dank Boy. Welcome back to another Dank Boy video. We've got something very special for you today. And before we do that, let's go off on a complete tangent and talk about something different. Ladybirds. Did you know they're not birds? That's incredible. Everybody remembers the iPod, am I right? Well, this iPod right here is an old one. And also, do you remember the Game Boy? Well, now this Game Boy right here is a long one. And that's absolutely incredible. <laughs> well, did you know that Nintendo back in the day actually collaborated with Apple and made the iWalk, which is a Game Boy iPod, which is absolutely incredible. I don't think he even does that. One grit. So let's take a look then at the iWalk. This is too far, Elliot. This is, this is an all-time low. So I'm sure you're familiar with the company YSN. Well, that is a company that existed. An LCD game, an FM radio iWalk is something that we've all obviously heard of. This one is the blue one, and that's blue. And that's absolutely incredible because it's the same color as our iPod. You could, of course, also have gotten an orange and a green one, but we don't want those nuggets, am I right? When you flip it over onto the back, you can see that there are some pictures here, but unfortunately everything is in a language that I cannot understand. And that's fine because there are other languages available. No, there's not. It's all in Chinese. So without any further ado then, let's open up our game pod. Wow, look, it's a, it's a game pod. It looks exactly like a game pod. Wow, that's, a, that's an iPod game boy pod. Brilliant. We've also got some headphones. Now, one of the things that I find absolutely fantastic about these headphones is they're very similar. <laughs> They're very similar to the actual Nintendo Game Boy headphones. So I receive about a million pounds a month now because a million Australian dollars a month now because I have about 50,000 Patreon and that's absolutely brilliant. And if we lift off this here lid, which is a lid, we can actually see here, right here are the headphones. Now this is a brand new Game Boy. So I'm not gonna be opening it in this video. Let's have a look then at those headphones. Wow, headphones. Also, excuse my little boo-boo, you know what I'm like. <laughs> right, I'm not gonna continue with the voice. It's just, it's just too much effort and also probably racist. I actually found this thing on Sendico and thought it was pretty fascinating. Um, and I really wanted to make a video about it. Uh, I just thought it'd be really funny if I try and do it in a Dank Pods style video. I hope I haven't offended anybody. Uh, I doubt Dank Pods will see this, but if he does, love your videos, mate. And uh, I'm sorry for the atrocious impression of you. It's offensively bad. Um, so yeah, this is the ZC 2017, and it's obviously made to look like an iPod. Now, funny enough, this thing feels quite heavy. Oh no, please tell me. Oh no, there's batteries in it. Oh, it's on. Oh, it's just low battery. Oh, there's actually four AAAs in here. Oh man, I'm gonna have to go to the shop and get more. Energizer, wow. Oh wait, we're not doing we're not doing that anymore. Okay, so let's see if this puppy fires up. Well, I know it fires up because th there was a little bit of life left in those uh, batteries there. So um, it's gonna be interesting to see what this thing is like because in the pictures, it shows that it's got like a backlight, which is really, really impressive. Um, and I really hope that that is actually the case because people are modding their Game Boys now to get backlights and this thing came with one. Whoa. Okay, let's turn that off. It works, it works perfectly well. So included in the box, which is really cool, is this, which is a little sort of like hip holster thing for it so that you can walk around and look totally badass with your um, iPod Game Boy on your hip. Obviously, it also had some documentation in here, a little manual, but I don't think we're gonna be able to actually do anything with any of this because it's all completely different uh, language. So there we go, that's the box. All right then, so this is what we're left with, these three things. The headphones, just cheap rubbish. Uh, I imagine they will do the job, but they're not gonna be very comfortable in the process. So let's take a look then at the device itself. So you have this incredibly off-center D-pad, which is meant to look like the track wheel. It's just weirdly off-center. You've got one action button, which is right here. It's rotate because this is probably only gonna play Tetris, which is fine by me if this thing's Decent, I'm gonna carry it around with me. You've got a reset button, you've got a start button, you've got a sound, and you've got an on and off button. Obviously you've got the screen up here, which is in that sort of a 
Tetris orientation that you see on all of the cheap little uh, Chinese Tetris things that you can buy. And then on the top, you've got completely separate controls. You've got an on off switch, a volume wheel, a headphone jack, and then you've got scan and reset. And that is gonna deal with the FM radio because that's what this thing is. And then really interestingly, when you turn on that FM radio on the top, that is gonna turn on the backlight. So the backlight on the screen is separately controlled with the on off of the radio, which is really, really cool. Um, either that or the volume switch also has a sort of a click in it, which would indicate that that is also a switch. So maybe there's literally just a backlight button. Let's plug these headphones in and see what turns the radio on. Okay, I can confirm that does nothing in my ears. It's literally the volume wheel. That is the on off thing. So I hear a lot of white noise right now. Let's press scan. Right, that's not working. Let me Oh! It's working! Oh yeah, that's working, that is brilliant. Probably not gonna work in this really old granite house, um, but it works, it actually works, which is, which is fine. I suppose if you put this with some Beats by Dr. Dre, which is all Audiophile's favorite headphones, then you've got yourself the perfect little FM radio and then when you're bored when you're sat on the bus or whatever you can turn this thing on and play a little bit of Tetris In order to fit in this whole background I had to move the camera like three meters up So let me stand up here and play a little bit of Tetris for you. Here we go. So start It's a really great game of Tetris. This thing is far better than I thought the down arrow though moves the Tetris the Tetraminos very very quickly it's quite frightening. It's, a, it's an elite game of Tetris. Here we go. Boom! <laughs> well, that's it really. That's a really neat little thing. Uh, the I Walk uh, by Y... SN. What a cool little thing. LCD game and FM radio. Yeah, I like it. I don't know how much this thing would have been back in the day. There's absolutely no information about it online whatsoever, um, but a very cool thing. Yeah, that is this video. I'm sorry if I caused any offense. It's only meant to be a little bit of a joke. I hope you've enjoyed this video. Thank you very much for watching, and I'll catch you all in the next one. Check out Dank Pods, by the way. Really great channel. Bye!